I remember being at the beach one night just sitting out on the deck by myself and I don't know, I just felt really at peace in that moment. And I felt secure and that everything was okay. I think I have always been an anxious person. The first sign is my heart starts racing. It literally would be out of nowhere. And I start to overthink. I would just be so in my head and have my heart going haywire that I would end up getting up and leaving. They kind of take you out of life for a moment. Anxiety is not just, ha, I'm here having a panic attack. Like it's very minute, you know? Like it's people who have cuticles or people who bite their nails or they do like, they move their hands a lot or, you know, they, they twiddle with their thumbs and they, they're, they're a little jittery or something like that. Recently, music has helped with my anxiety where I can channel that energy, that anxious energy, but turn it into something positive. Whether it's like I, I'm just writing a song or I'm just making a tune or a beat or you name it. And um, whether it actually comes into something, a song or what, or if it's just like some random posh posh of whatever, it's still, I was able to sort of like release anxiety out of me. I like most about the collaboration process is how therapeutic it feels. I feel like if I go into the session not feeling the greatest, I end up leaving, feeling like I turned that anxiety and fear all into something good. And that I also, at the same time, release that anxiety and release that fear. I feel like when I sing about anxiety and things with mental health, I try to make it really gritty. Morning Ignorance will be my first EP that I hope to drop sometime in 2022. Initially, I didn't have any idea I was going to make an EP. As I kept writing new songs, I started to notice a theme of mourning, and I wasn't really sure all the, the whole scope of what I was mourning because I knew I was mourning my grandma and other people that I've lost in my life but then I think my writing started to show that I was mourning a lot of other things too which coupled with mourning ignorance mourning the ideas of when you're a kid and of this idea of perfection My biggest insecurity is not being enough. 
sort of coupled with not being perfect enough. But I feel like the things that I'm very passionate about and passionate in, I want to be perfect. I remember growing up with figure skating. I loved going on the ice and performing, and I didn't care if I were to fall or not. But I feel like with music, I care so much to the point where like, I cannot even do karaoke night. It sucks when you have this huge fear of something that you care so much about. For, for a brief period of time, I was petrified of the ocean. Sometimes I think I can be easily manipulated into fear. If someone's like, oh, like you're singing too loud. I'm like, oh shit, okay, I can't sing. The, the lesson there is that you have to acknowledge that there are sharks in the water, but so what? You know, like that, that just is what it is. That's part of life.